everyone. I thought I'd give you a quick look at Imagination Crafts Mixed Media Spray Inks. Um, now, if you've been following me for a while, you'll know that I've been working with lots of different branded spray inks for a while now because I love the effects that you can get with them. So when I saw that Imagination Crafts were doing spray inks, I knew that I needed to get hold of them and give them a test. So I've been doing so on different sort of scrap pieces of paper, and ATCs and been getting some really lovely effects. The difference with these I found that is the finish sort of dries like a chalky sort of painted finish whereas some of the others is more of a silky sort of gloss finish which isn't great if you're planning on stamping over them. Um, so if you're looking for just a sort of chalky finish these are going to be fantastic and the other thing I've noticed is they are working well on wood. So if you want to do any wood projects um, and spray the wood then these will work great with that as well. So this is just some ATCs where I've used them as backgrounds and then I've done stamping over it. Uh, these hearts are actually using um, gilding wax on textured card, but I'll do that in a different demo. All of these backgrounds are created with the spray inks. Um, I think the next page I've got some starlights, which I'll show another time, but these again are spray ink backgrounds, as you can see. Um, so I thought I'd give you a quick look at how you use them. Um, the best way I can describe really is just to... Um, experiment and have a play around and you'll get to know the ways in which you personally want to use them but I use them in a lot of different things uh, mainly paper crafts as you can see I've been using them quite a lot this is just the tissue I lay at the bottom to catch any of the um, excess and I always use an old cardboard box but you could use a plastic box or you can buy spray boxes I believe now but a good old-fashioned cardboard box works well as well so what I tend to do is line it with tissue paper to catch the excess and then I will actually use these to make sort of paper roses and things. Um, you can see how pretty that would look. Um, but just for the sort of purpose of this demo I'm going to use these old bits here. And I'll use um, some watercolour card. Now you don't have to use watercolour card but when I'm going to sort of saturate it, it's quite nice because it tries to hold its shape a bit better. I've been doing it on the ATC card which is just a normal sort of I think 200 GSM card. Um, and that works absolutely fine as well, just when you dry it, um, put it under a pile of books and flatten it out again. So I think I've got every colour that Imagination Crafts do now with their spritz inks. Um, I will list them for you. I've got the light green, I've got the purple, I've got light fuchsia, I've got yellow, I've got light blue, I've got white, which is essential for sort of um, toning down the colours or making them like lighter. I've got orange. I've got light purple. I've got magenta, dark brown, uh, green, red, sunshine, fuchsia, black, blue and dark orange. I think that's all the colours but I may be wrong there may be some new ones now or they may have discontinued some but as far as I'm aware they've, they're pretty new so they should all be available. Um, they retail at about 390 I think 325 actually um, so which is really good because some of the other Sprick Sinks are much much more expensive. So I'll give you a quick look at the different um, sort of ways you can use them. You can do sprays so a nice fine spray so the higher you are the lighter you're going to get. Um, if you press fast, then you get a sort of a big spray. If you press slowly, you get more droplet effect. I don't know if you could see how that works there. Um, and if you go down really close, you get a full coverage. Now, another way you can use these is by tapping. If you just want a sort of a splodge dotty effect, you can do that and just chuck it on like that. But just be prepared for mess. Make sure you have got your sort of coverage underneath. So hopefully that's given you a few ideas of how you can use the actual spray bottle itself and now I'm just going to chuck a few different colours on so you can see how they sort of blend and run together. Now you can see the cards bowed slightly there, if you want to keep it completely flat you can sort of weight it down a little bit if you want but I, I like the colours to blend so I don't mind when they move around. So I'm just going to literally, I'm not even going to look at the colours I'm using really, I'm just going to chuck them on just so you can get a feel for how they can blend together. And as I say, it's just really sort of trial and error, play around with them a bit, see what colours you want to work together. You can let it dry naturally or you can um, use your heat dryer and dry it um, a bit faster using it like that. But if you're doing that, be prepared for it to push the any sort of running ink, it may push it as it's drying. So just be prepared for that. Um, so obviously that's sort of 
the colours you can see mixing together now. Now the one that I did say was um, essential is the white because I feel that that's brilliant for toning down and lightening up any of them. So that's now really saturated um, but the colours are still sort of moulding together and melding together but you don't have to do it the way I've done it there. You could just do a few spritz on um, and leave it. If I show you here on another piece, you could just do a few little spritz and just leave it like that. So you don't have to fully saturate it. You can just do it a little sprays like that. And it looks really nice in art journals, on cards, on ATCs, and all sorts of different projects. So well worth getting your hands on these. Imagination Crafts Mixed Media Ink Sprays. Give me a shout if you've got any questions.